During fourth quarter for Earth Science, we will be trying things a little bit different. Uh, the introduction of technology has allowed us the ability to do things a little bit different than we have in the past, and it seems that th with this current class, this would be a great opportunity to help them learn a little better than they have. Uh, there are some problems we're trying to correct with the type of learning that's taking place right now. The first thing we'll be trying is the flipped classroom. Instead of lecturing in class, the students will be having the homework assignment of viewing the lectures and taking notes over them. The lectures will be recorded, placed onto Moodle, downloaded either while at school or at home, and watched. They'll have to record notes on it and have questions asked me in class. I will try to find a format that would be possible to view from any iPod or iPhone or any other personal media player. The other big change is that I will be trying a mastery classroom, which it means that instead of every student doing the same thing each day and then taking a test, the students will have to complete various required activities and they should show mastery of the unit. So what I'm looking for here is more of a quality learning environment instead of just a quantity, getting through each step to get to the end, whereas they have to show that they're mastering. They have to do adequate work, not just turn in work. A uh, mastery will be declared as 75% on the end of the unit test. They may retake the test as many times as needed to get to this, and they can even retake it to get a higher test score. Uh, but they cannot move on to the next section until they have mastered previous section to get to that 75%. And if they're still trying to take the test to get a higher score, uh, once they move on to the next section, that's it. They can't retake the test anymore. Now, reasons for the switch. I already said quality versus quantity. I want to do more in-depth learning, and I want to be able to interact with the students more to help them with anything they're having problems with and to give more guidance than when I'm talking to the whole class at once. It's very hard to direct individual students when I have to deal with all 20 to 30 students at one time. I'm looking more at mastery learning versus just completion. A lot of the kids just want to complete something, move on. Well, here, if they don't complete it well enough, they don't learn from it, they're not going to be moving on. And so this will hopefully force some of them to try a little harder, to learn, actually. Now, this will give me more time to help students individually. Instead of spending time lecturing, I'll be able to be moving around the room a lot. You will hardly see me at the front of the room. Instead, I'll be moving from student to student to student, from group to group to group, answering questions, asking questions, giving them some guidance. But this will really help me a lot, able to talk to students more individually. The big reason is not all students learn at the same rate. I got some very high level students, I got some low level students, and I got in between students. This will allow each of those groups to go at their own pace to get to where they need to be. Those very high level students will be able to get through all three sections easily, move on to some of the projects will go beyond, so they'll learn more than they would otherwise. The students at the lower end, I'll be able to help them more individually and get them to that point where they may not be able to get to before. And the students in the middle, they're really going to have more opportunities than they did before. Why now? Why at the end of the fourth quarter? Why when the students have gone through everything else? Uh, I have a lot of good answers for that question. Well, the students are already used to the tools I've used in class, so I don't have to reintroduce Moodle. I don't have to reintroduce the website. I don't have to reintroduce a lot of things. They know how to use them, so this change is actually easier now than if I did this earlier. And also at the beginning of the quarter, we have the beginning of a new unit. It's actually a pretty good time for this. Plus, I'll be able to see how the students do with the new style. I'll have a full quarter to check this out compared to previous quarter. And this will be an opportunity to go as a sole way of teaching in the future. And at the end of the year, I can still have some opportunities to, if I just find out that after two, three weeks, it's just failing horribly, I will have the time to change it, to go back to a different method. And the big reason why is the level of learning up to this point for a good portion of the earth science students was inadequate. The work that they were doing, how well they are doing on tests, no matter what I was trying, it was not working. And so this will be a method that has been shown to help those students who are not achieving as well as they could be. Now the video lectures, just like this, they'll be recorded of the main ideas, I'll add in animations, videos, I'll be able to use a tablet to kind of draw on things. I'll record them, post them to Moodle, students will download them. They watch them as a homework assignment, and hopefully they'll be in a way that they can watch them on many different devices, so it's not just in front of their computer. While they're watching, though, they have to take notes, record questions they have. They need to have at least one interesting question to ask me in class the next day. And by having the lectures recorded, the students can always go back to the lectures when it's test time. They can pause, they can rewind, they can 
go to this parts that they didn't get. And so it's where if I'm just lecturing class, it's a one time through. And so this will at least be a bigger use, especially time for reviewing. Now the required activities. They must satisfactorily complete various required activities in order to take the mastery test. They must show that there was effort. <laughs> there has to be effort shown to, that they completed the assignment. They did a good job on it. I'm looking for quality answers, not just I wrote some down, give me points. Um, required activities will include book questions, some labs, uh, various diagrams they're going to have to create or fill out, some group activities, some online activities, various things that they're going to have to do depending on what subject matter we're dealing with. Now the answers for book questions will be able to be viewed in class once they have shown their work to me. I will have an answer key available to them. They have to show me their work. I'll ask them questions about it. Then I'll show them the answer key and they can make corrections as needed. The activities will not be graded, but it's going to be the process to help them learn the content in order to master it. There will be some supplemental activities available to those students who are struggling with some ideas. They're not required to take it, but they'll help them master the content. Um, some of these will be quizzes. They can find a Moodle. They can take them as many times as they want. They'll tell them what, the, what they got right, what they got wrong. Um, there are other style activities than what was required. And of course, answers are given for all this so they can check their work. Now the tests themselves, the mastery tests as we'll call them, they have to get 75% on the test to master the unit and move on to the next unit. They may retake this as many times as needed with the best score being recorded. Retakes will not be the same exact test, but will cover the same material. And we'll go over with students who did not master the test, what they missed, why they missed it, and what questions they have. And there has to be at least one complete class period in between, in between retakes. So let's say a student takes it beginning of class on Monday. Well, they can't take it again until Wednesday. This gives them time to ask questions, to go over the material, to hopefully learn now what they didn't learn before. This will show them what they're missing. Now, the grading for the semester, or for the quarter, sorry, 40% average of the best test scores. So three test scores, they'll take the average of that, and that'll equal 40% of their core grade. And 60% of their grade will be the progress. If they mastered all three units, complete two final projects, they get an A for the progress part. If they only mastered three units, one final project, that's a B. If they mastered all three units but not complete a project, that's a C. If they mastered two units and attempted the third test, that's a D. Anything less than that will get them an F. Now, if they didn't master anything, they didn't even get through the first section, well, hopefully that's not going to happen because they will have individual time to help for me to help them, but they would get very, very low grade on that. Now, monitoring progress. I will give suggested outlines to the students, including checklists for required activities, so they can keep check on where they are, where they need to be. All required activities will be in the online gradebook, and a blank space will be there automatically, meaning they have not completed it. Once they have completed the activity, I will put one on the gradebook, and you will be able to see that. If you're worried your student may not get to a desired point, we can talk with them about what they can do to get to that point. But... Pretty much the suggested outline will help them figure out how long each activity should take. If it's taking too long, then they're going to have to spend some time after school. The goal of this is to do all the work inside of class and very little work outside of class. So they're doing the work when they have me available to ask questions. Whereas if they do the homework at home, they're going to get it done, turn it in, and forget about it. Now they have the opportunity to ask questions.